Good and rising family and welcome back to the channel. It's Shay Seeking from American Aborigines Unchained here on YouTube and Facebook. And on this channel, we uh, seek mm, alternative or hidden information um, pertaining to the American Aborigines or so-called black people here in America. Um, and again, uh, the original people um, from across the plain or so or around the so-called globe. Um, so yeah, we just look into information and bring forth information that's being unearthed um, by those of us who have, um, <clears throat> excuse me, gone through this awakening where we're breaking the chains off of our brains and also bringing our uh, soul siblings and family, uh, which be the would be the remnant of the original people of the world or so-called world. Um, yeah. Okay. So we are going to be looking at this term here today. Um, and again, I'm not here to tell you what it is or what it ain't. I'm just simply sharing what it looks like to me. This is what we do. We do exactly what these particular uh, scientists and researchers do, okay? We'll, we'll say researchers uh, do when they're looking for information. It just so happens that the awakening is occurring from the temple within, which again, a lot of us have been misled into thinking that we were going to obtain something in one of those temples uh, that are made by man's hands. And again, um, we need to go within um, in order to tap into certain information that that is uh, available, okay, that you can tap into um, in different, uh, uh, tap into different realms um, and obtain information or knowledge, okay, um, from within uh, yourself, your DNA, your makeup. Uh, the voice within, the source, the true creator of us. Again, because when we're talking about in the beginning, that is not your beginning. That is the beginning of the newer people on this plane, okay? Possibly indigenous, native, and foreign alien uh, entities that are on the land and may be unaware when it comes to the um, indigenous and native uh, particular people because they've been lied to as well. Um, but uh, but the so-called elite or those who, um, uh, the powers that shouldn't be, um, know exactly who you are. And they may even be trying to seek out some of us through DNA during this testing and during these times, okay? So in order to obtain information that they may need or or uh, something from your uh, makeup that they may need in order to try to protect themselves from things that are going to be coming uh, in the spiritual realm or, you know, um, again, <laughs> we can go deeper. But again, that's not what we're here for. I just thought that I would just, since there's a lot of new people coming into the Facebook group, I just thought that I would give that long um, introduction so that you guys can see where we're going with this. But today we're going to play with etymology a little bit. And again, this is the thing. Um, we're not uh, dealing with religion on the level where uh, you have been taught. Um, we are using <laughs> um, let's see uh like my um, soul sibling uh, uh, Kishran said, um, religion is like a dedication or something to uh, uh, something that you dig into diligently, okay, in a sense, right? Um, so we're using uh, religious behaviors, okay, possibly, in order to, again, seek this particular information uh, 
by doing this on a daily, not even thinking about it. It's just something that comes natural <clears throat> after you've awakened. So we're going to go ahead and use etymology. And again, like I was saying, we use the Bible. We use um, his story. We use, um, even though we know it lied, <laughs> okay, we use um, present day uh, uh, things that are common sense. Um, we use uh, discernment. And uh, what else can we say that we use? And tools like etymology in order to get a better understanding um, of what has happened to our people and how we would be able to get out of it. Okay. So again, let's go into it. So a lot of us have already run across this uh, definition um, of American in the 1828 dictionary. I think that I've run across dictionaries um, that have... Uh, stated this previous to 1828, actually. Um, <clears throat> and we're, we're just not even going to read the whole thing because we don't need to. We're just going to be picking up one term here. So it says American. I'm sorry, it's like 2.40 in the morning. Um, and I just couldn't go to sleep until I did it. So if I sound all drowsy and everything, it's because I'm supposed to be in the bed. <laughs> I have to be up <clears throat> pretty soon. Sorry. Okay, so it says American, a native of America, originally applied to the aboriginals or copper colored races found here by the Europeans. Now, I just want to stop at found, right? Because we're going to, um, uh, you know, we, we talk a lot about the caste system on this channel. And um, the caste system is equivalent or a dual uh, uh, symbol for uh, goodness, the dome earth, or um, when we're talking um, to the the way that uh, I don't I don't want to get this wrong, but Israel or Hebrew would have looked at the world. Um, so when we look at that dome earth, and you see the the uh, water inside, and you see the mountains or the you know mounds. Um, and then you also see at the bottom that there's the pillars um, and uh, the serpent sometimes may even or a dragon style being might be um, underneath uh, that particular uh, in the shield. OK, so again, that would represent the same thing as this pyramid here that has like we've looked at it several times. I don't know if we can. OK, maybe we can. But again, the blue represents again. The higher beings, maybe even the one percent, okay, and then down at the bottom where there is enmity between uh, the untouchables or Dalit people, which are usually dark-skinned people or Aboriginal people, people that have been cast out of their uh, homeland or their uh, even world or existence um, into a um, sort of a hell where they will sit there and be tortured forever, okay. So again, the sudra, which would be the enmity above, would be the children of these particular people that are in the higher parts, in the hierarchy, monarchy, or whatever it comes to, uh, uh, or offspring of those particular people that were mingling with the untouchables at one point in time. But once they were strong enough, and there were many of them, they caused a division or a divide, and they harvested or the wheat or white, okay, um, in the tear, okay? So again, they let these people nurture these people, and then at the end of the day, they all got up and decided to, uh, what does it say, come together, like we're talking about in Genesis, and to then uh, blot them out from being a nation, cut them off from being a nation so they'll never be whatever, okay, you guys know, like, we're just not going to go that deep, it's, it's late, and I've said this stuff over and over again, but I like to just keep going at it, because, again, every time we try to go somewhere, it brings us right back here, okay, so then, um, anyhow, same thing as this, man over here to the right, sitting, um, there's an image also with his foot on the ground, actually, but this one's sitting Indian style, um, he has many, uh, a couple of different heads, and, it's representing the same thing, okay? So again, this is why I said that the the 
statue or the man from Daniel's dream reminds me of this a lot. Um, and it's also, I think, talking about, uh, let's see. It's also talking about your, um, again, because whatever they've taken and made symbolism and made something outwardly, all of this is pertaining to you inwardly, you being the first, okay? <clears throat> Those that they took the DNA from to splice and start to create uh, subgroups and sub races of people in order to multiply them like the sands of the sea in order to then uh, help till the earth, which is go ahead and do etymology on it a horrible thing that God told them to do to the earth. And now we know that the earth is pertaining to people or original inhabitants or people of a land. Okay. The soil, earth, land, whatever. Dry land. Dry land just means that it is land that does not want to be mixed or amalgamated, irrigated, cultivated, <clears throat> watered, flooded. It's just land that didn't want to uh, mix. So again, this is going to get deep in a second. So just, just bear with me, bear with me. Okay. So again, we would think of this person as a copper colored person. Now this is not an image of antiquity. I don't think because someone is selling this type of thing online. Um, but this is another image that I found tonight that says that these are Indian, two little Indian girls, um, American indigenous girls from 1902. OK, so this shows you or depicts what these people might have been looking like, you know what I'm saying, at some time, even up until 1902. Now, we do see that these people have a little bit of a, a Asiatic or Asian uh, flair to them. Um, but again, they're wearing their hair in the two braids or, you know, our grandmas wear plaits. Uh, you know, who, who knows what's really going on here? Um, because everybody has been moved around and, 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 and taken out of their, uh, original, uh, homes and things like that by that point. Okay. So we want to go ahead and just look at this term real quick before I get too tired. Oh, my voice is just getting so groggy. <laughs> okay. So we're going to look up found. Okay. So again, we always talk about the founding fathers, even on the channel. Hold on. Just got dark in here. I need to go to bed but okay so it says found uh, I'm guessing this is a verb one and it says again we're just going to read the whole thing even though there's specific words and terms that we need to pay attention to but I like to do it like this because it kind of helps build it helps me build okay it gives me a visual it helps me bring out other things that maybe I wasn't thinking about and so on okay so again, because at certain times, like the word changes or it, 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 uh, the, the word doesn't change, but the meaning of the word has changed over time. Okay. So again, it says lay the basis of, so I'm like, mm, hold on, lay the basis and then establish. Okay. Late 13th century. It says from old French fonder again because the, you know people were really fond about find, finding this land right so found established set place fashion to fashion something right to make okay to lay the bottom see because a lot of people tend to think the firmament is something that is above us well actually I guess it is above us <laughs> Um, but even in the dome earth, people think that that dome represents the firmament or, or will not. The firmament is also just like a, uh, establishing something or, um, pretty much the same thing as a, um, uh, a foundation. Okay. Um, or something that is set and ready to go set in stone. Okay. Um, so again, found, established, set, place, fashion, make. To lay the bottom or foundation of something from funded the bottom okay uh, see fund okay uh, 
phrase founding fathers with reference to the creators. So let's listen to this shit right here. I mean, I don't understand. I can't understand how people don't read this. And something just telling you right away what to ask what the fuck is we talking about. Okay? Because it's saying the phrase founding father with reference to the creators. Well, is this the Elohim from Genesis? Are these the gods that said, let us make someone in our own likeness and let them be rulers over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, and all, you know, all the beasts of the field? Because you know these talking about animals, right? I mean, because animals are talking about people too, right? So, again, when we're talking about beasts and we see Native Americans that say that they're from the wolf tribe or this, this, and all, you know, I'm just saying that these represent beasts of the field. Follow the air, the eagles, those who have these particular things on their clothing, on their um, tents, these are markings from the gods, okay? So, again, um... Let's see. So, and again, we, w the way I do things here, it would probably be best if you're even interested in this or if it didn't pique your interest to go look at other videos because I'm always trying to come in at many different levels to cover many th different things for many different mindsets, right? Okay. So, again, the creators of the American Republic is attested from 1916. So these are the creators here. They, they're the forefathers too, you know, things like this. Because these are the very people that we're talking about in the biblical text. Whether you like it or not, I, it still don't mean that these are my gods. I'm just bringing out information that it may be important to pay attention to so that we can see what's really going on here. And we've been bamboozled, okay? On a le level that is just not even, it's too late to even start what we're doing right here. <clears throat> but it's not about what's happening again outwardly. It's about what's happening on the inside in the mindset of our people at this particular time. Everybody else thinks this is something that's going to be televised or something that you're going to be able to, you know, show people in a sense where it's easy. No, you have to do your part. Everyone has a part to, to play. Okay. So again, it says found verb two to cast metal. Now we all, you know, I talk about this all the time. I'm questioning. What the hell does this really have to do with this metal? <clears throat> the video I did a while back on that movie. What is this metal? Is this metal, are these metals something that they've been using in order to affect us in some type of way? To lower our frequency or something. Metal fillings, all of these things. You know, um, yeah. You know, th these particles and these metals and stuff that, and this barium and all this stuff that's in these trails that are being laid in the sky every day that trickle down <clears throat> into the air, into your soil when you grow food. You know, we just have to think about things like this, right? So it says originally to mix, mingle from old French foundre to pour out. See, see, we talked about this in a couple of videos back about them pouring out or washing and making clean because wash again Washington General Washington to wash thyself this is all talking about amalgamation it's not talking about no kind of baptism that all that is not even you know if it is talking about it once or twice it's all dead because again they should have told us the part that it means also to wash yourself and make yourself look like these people because it was when God was pleased when people were making things light and he thought it was good okay so you know it, it just all makes sense once you do etymology with the first two chapters of Genesis you should be able to wrap up the whole Bible and see what's maybe really going on okay so it says um, to melt or smelt see to melt to cast so again what are we talking about it's spelled different than cast system but really pour out okay to pour to cast metal is from 1560 okay now this uh do 
uh, hue, I don't know, okay, to pour a libation, see, complete set of characters of a particular race and size of type to cast metal, okay, to make uh, liquid by, to melt, make liquid by heat, sudden squall of wind, okay, to infuse something, futile or futile, uh, okay, to refuse, ne wait, I'm sorry, I was about to say neglect, to reject, disregard, avoid, what are we talking about, when we, are we talking about the caste system, refuse, waste, material, trash, we're going to listen to something from Jordan Maxwell in a minute. Or, you know, I'll probably do it tomorrow. Where he's talking about the same exact thing. Okay. To put it in the trash. Okay. To pour or funnel juice or take the juice or the nectar. Maybe from grapes or something. Milk cast pour out. Okay. Bowels, entrails. Uh, again, the gutter or the drain. Because again, these people at the bottom of that pyramid would be the latrin cleaners, the street, the street dwellers. Okay? Just strange how these words do this. Okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and go down here to found the adjective discovered late 14th century. Okay, because that's about time when they said that somebody was supposed to be discovered a place that was already here. Okay. Wages, charge, all job opening, traveling births. See, this is when a, uh, a man shall leave his mother and father and cleave on to his wife, which is, again, like we always say, the land that they have been begotten or, and that comes with the people, the resources, the wealth, and everything else. Okay, let's see, when a laborer engages, and, and we're using this term engage too, like an engagement, like to marriage, okay, to provide himself with uh, victuals, he is said to find himself to receive daily wedges, wages, sorry, uh, to, now down here in WordNet is saying, uh, found the verb is set up or found, establish or launch, set up and lay the groundwork for, use the basis for, use as a basis for, found on the ground. This is talking about you, the base, the establish. So it's, it's establish, uh, not meant, but establish. <clears throat> Food and lodging, so they'll be for food too, remember? Provided to, uh, in addition to money. See, this is all talking about what happened to you during colon colonization. What, what happened to the prehistoric, pre-Adamite uh, people. They, they may even call them the hominid people, okay? Come upon unexpectedly or after searching. So look at this shit. So which one did Columbus do? Or Colombo? A Cologne. Come upon ex unexpectedly or after searching. Ain't that what they said? He accidentally. <laughs> Just saying. To send to the bottom. To sink, to fail. So even when we were talking about that uh, in the beginning with God's uh, started to create the heavens, plural, and the earth. The earth was first a dark vo uh, uh, void, um, whatever. And so we figured out that the masses have something to do with, you know, something. Or the gases have something to do with something else, okay? And actually... It wasn't formed, uh, uh, like this video I'm going to show you, they're, they're not saying it was formed uh, 
and void. They were actually saying it was not formed yet and it had been basically trashed or, you know, at that point, ripped apart. Okay. So again, it's funny how God is here as a related entry for found. Yep. So again, um, I hope that was it. Um, let's go ahead and look at metal really quick. <clears throat> Sorry. Back formation from melatonin. Oh, that sounds like melatonin. <laughs> but I, I mean, I know it doesn't really, but that's what I was thinking. Um, talking about something about high specific gravity okay again that's something that holds something or pulls something back down right okay metal mineral uh this has to have something to do with it to with our our senses oh shit it says senses <laughs> sorry i didn't even see that no really i didn't see it um i was just thinking the mental um, something that they're doing that's keeping us vibrating low, that they're not able to do anymore for a certain reason. To seek after. Okay, so again, right here it says, originally, mine, sorry, a quarry pit, Probably a back formation from metal, metalunian. That sounds like something else, too. Mm. To mine, to query, a word of unknown origin, perhaps related somehow to metalin. Metalin. I don't know. To seek after. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Even down here in WordNet, any of several chemical elements that are usually shiny solids that conduct heat or, well, sounds kind of like that to me, or metal or electricity can be formed into sheets. Now, this sounds funny because this is starting to remind me of all their satellites and stuff that they place in the air. Metal, a mixture containing two or more metallic elements, two metallic and, okay, you see what it says. Cover with metal. That's what they did to you. Containing or made of resemblance of characteristics of metal. So let them make them in their own likeness and the likeness of what? The strange metallic note of <clears throat> metal lark suggesting that the clash of vibrant blades hmm mightier than a sword huh so anyhow i i'm gonna go ahead and put this up but if it's too laggy if it's too all over the place if you guys didn't get anything from it um i do apologize just let me know if you want me to go in a little bit more. If you want me to do it when I'm more focused, um, just let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, and join us in the Facebook group, American Aborigines Unchained, on, again, we already said it, Facebook. And I'm, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go to bed now. I'm just so tired. <laughs> and then this, yeah probably going to give me some water and go to bed. So again, I want to thank you guys for listening. Let me know if you want me to do it over again. And take care.